the mystery of the goo is finally solved and I have some bad news. As we all learned, the mysterious goo on the map is not goo, but it's chrome. As it says in the teaser, chrome will consume all. And this chrome was in Fortnite Season 6, trying to hint us of Fortnite Season 4 Chapter 3, but no one picked up on it. Chrome consuming all was actually in the Battle Pass 2 and no one realized. This will be one of the most important parts of the video, so pay attention. All I have to do is type in Chapter 2 Season 6, one of the most important seasons of the storyline like I keep mentioning, and let's head over to the Spire Assassin, Guardian of a World Beyond Reality, part of the Looming Spire set, and the skin looks relatively normal, right? However, if you go to Edit Style, we have the Default Style, and then we have the Chromium Spire Assassin. This is the exact same color of the goo finally making its way on the Fortnite map. And this goo right here, Fortnite is in trouble, but where do we go from here? What's gonna happen in season four? We were all shocked about this goo. We were all shocked about Paradigm's hand being taken out of the water and corrupted by this goo, which is now known as the Chrome. But what if I told you this was already in Fortnite and we were all too distracted to realize it? These back blings explain everything, so listen up. Infinite Bloom, the first back bling from everywhere and for always, part of the fade out set from everywhere and for always what does that mean this is the one that really matters a lot if you go to back blings and you type in souls reach there is only one back bling souls reach keeper of the spires flame part of the looming spire set but when you zoom into this back bling you can see this is the back bling of the chromium spire assassin the same material which means this is a different shade of the exact same material but if you go a little bit closer that's a hand what could this mean this was just announced. New Fortnite Paradise Season 4 teaser sound. The previous sound has been extended from 30 seconds to 1 minute. I don't know why they did that though. And later in the video, someone was able to fully decode what the audio behind the image means. Let's take a look. Remember, anything Fortnite does is fully on purpose. It's all connected. Here's what the next 30 seconds of this leaked audio sounds like. This was just leaked and nobody has ever seen this. Obviously, the Fortnite season name is Paradise. This just simply does not sound like Paradise. And keep in mind, someone decoded this audio and put it into a spectrogram. And here's what it looks like. Whenever there's mysterious audio, there's always a picture and a spectrogram behind it. But this is absolutely nothing. Now, what if I told you these mysterious butterflies floating around the map are another hint of the chrome on the map and the true meaning behind it because it fully relates leads to Blevin, the Fortnite cube. What if I told you the Chrome corrupted the cube and we never even realized it? Fortnite loves to hide secrets during live events and that's why they hid the Chrome during the Skyfire live event from Fortnite Chapter 2, Season 8, and we were too distracted by the event to even realize it. Did you guys see that? These butterflies are the same exact color of every single Fortnite cube. During the Skyfire live event, we were just standing there. We saw some sort of weird substance and all of a sudden, the Fortnite Cube came back to life. Nobody realized why, no one knew how. We were just all very excited over Kevin's long-awaited return. I have some good news and I have some bad news about the Reality Tree and the Bloom Watch. The Bloom Watcher has been the most mysterious character in all of Fortnite history, but the answer has been in front of our eyes the entire time. Although this looks like Fortnite's scariest villain yet, looking at the entire Fortnite island through the glass ball of the zero point. What if I told you this goo on the map finally reveals all and the fact that this scary looking face is actually very very innocent and the Fortnite island is in big trouble and this all goes back to this trailer with the goo did you know that this goo mystery mysterious looking it has been on the map and it has been in Fortnite for years it's been in front of us for the entire time this all goes back to Fortnite season 6 the zero crisis season one of the most mysterious seasons of all time but we finally know the entire truth of how the foundation randomly came on the map. Why there was mysteriously a wave of different reality. This Fortnite season was hinting at Fortnite season 4 ever since it came out and none of us realized it. It all relates to this spire, that specific butterfly, and this crazy looking material of a zero point with the foundation completely stuck inside. But how does 
does this all relate to the goo and the live event? The Zero Point Blossoming was one of the most beautiful but strangest moments we've ever had in Fortnite history. To this day, no one knows what the Zero Point being so destabilized yet so beautiful means. But as Donald Mustard says, everything is connected. Let's take a look. Every major character in the Fortnite storyline is always seen as bad and evil. But what if I told you this Bloom Watcher is actually good and she's on our side. She's watching the island through the zero point, making sure everything is in check. Or let's just say she was good in a different reality before we, in a live event, decided to mess things up and turn her evil. Nobody realizes it, but in the season six live event, you can see the Bloom Watcher being born through the zero point. We had no idea what was going on and this looked absolutely beautiful. The zero point started destabilizing and we didn't really think anything of it. And one Fortnite item is what made the Bloom Watcher go from innocent like this to completely evil. You can see it's very destabilized, but the Bloom Watcher still has not been born yet. Agent Jones was turned into a butterfly. Very coincidentally, they are on the map as we speak. I'm gonna explain later in the video why. This unreleased rift gun is the reason the Bloom Watcher is here today in this very evil form. As you can see, once the rift gun was picked up and they were used on the portals, this is what made the Bloom Watcher be born. All of a sudden, the portals were gone and all of a sudden a big bang it looked absolutely beautiful but from then on the bloom watcher was on the map watching the map and we never realized it but the butterflies being on the map that is a bad sign of what's yet to come the bloom watcher is fully a hero she's giving us another chance and let me show you how i know this we need to make sure that she doesn't turn evil and she is the reason why our fortnite island has not fully been destroyed this fully relates to the weird looking chrome we're seeing on the map the zero point is so destabilized and the bloom watcher after being born is almost using her powers as a band-aid to restore the zero point and fully save the island because remember in the end live event from fortnite chapter one the island was fully ripped apart into pieces that is why we have two realities we have two sides of the fortnite map and the bloom watcher is keeping us in check the bloom watcher is literally saving us so we need to make sure we don't turn her more evil and make her angry we thought the reality tree was evil but it's actually saving reality. The Bloom Watcher is trying to heal the Fortnite Island, bringing back old locations from the other flip side of the map. No one wants two realities on top of each other. The Bloom Watcher is simply trying to repair. But here comes the goo, and they're not happy. Now we all know in this location, the chrome is on the map. What if I wear the chrome skin, and I go to the chrome? Let's test out the smith. If chrome touches chrome, what will happen? Okay, I have it marked on the map. All of my amazing subscribers were telling me to do this because apparently some of you guys tried it in game and something weird happened. So all we are going to do, we have no time left to waste. So this could either be big or nothing at all. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, chrome touching chrome. All right, we are walking inside of the chrome and let's turn around. Okay, myth busted. Get ready for Fortnite Season 4. 